Chip Cooper, Internet Attorney. Now, I'm often asked about the term click-wrapped agreement. What does it mean? Where did the term come from? And by the way, I think I have a click-wrapped agreement, but how do I make sure that it's presented properly so that it results in a legally enforceable agreement? Well, I think the best way to understand about what the term click wrap means is to go back to the early 80s and take a look at the term shrink wrapped agreement of that era. Now, in that, in that era, uh, of the development of PC software, a consumer could go into a software retailer and look at the offerings on the shelf and then take a box off the shelf. And by the way, they were pretty good size because they contained a five and a quarter inch diskette. So the consumer would turn the box around and between the shrink wrap and the box was a printed license agreement, which could be reviewed. And if the terms were not acceptable, then the box would go back on the shelf. Now, if the consumer purchased the product, then by opening the box, they would discover that the diskette was enclosed in a paper package inside the box. And on one side of that package was printed the terms of the license agreement. And on the other side, there was a message. If you tear me open, if you open the envelope and remove the diskette, then the act of tearing open the, the envelope and removing the diskette was deemed to be assent, or again, a, an affirmative assent, uh, unambiguous uh, manifestation of assent to the contract term. So that was where the shrink-wrapped agreement term originated. Now today, the click wrap term is really an electronic version of that old shrink wrap concept where you have instead of tearing open the package to indicate assent or agreement you will click on a button typically an I agree button to indicate agreement or assent to the contract terms. Now in, in terms of how you present your uh, click wrapped agreement so that it's legally enforceable there are four requirements. There's also a fifth one that's really not technically a requirement, but strongly recommended as a best product or best practice. Number one, there should be a conspicuous presentation of the contract terms during the registration, not after. Number two, there needs to be a reasonable notice of the terms. And typically you will see, usually presented in a scroll box, in all capital letters, the term license agreement, and then a, a very clear uh, description of the fact that there is a legally enforceable contract and that you should scroll through the box to read the contract. And the third requirement, of course, is the unambiguous manifestation of assent, which is indicated typically by clicking on an I agree button. And that button, or if it's a checkbox, should not be set to a default position indicating acceptance. In fact, it should be set to a default position indicating non-acceptance so that the customer will actually have to take an affirmative action to create acceptance. And, and acceptance should be an absolute requirement to complete the registration. And then four, number four, there should be an opportunity to review the license agreement terms again typically in a scroll box by scrolling up and down and reading the license agreement terms. Now there is an additional re recommendation, not a requirement, and that is providing the consumer with an opportunity to print the uh, license agreement. So those are the four requirements with one, the fifth one being a recommendation for presentation of a click wrapped agreement so that it will be legally enforceable. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. This video is provided for informational purposes only. It's not intended to be legal advice. You're invited to subscribe to my YouTube channel for additional tips.